Hello everyone, how is it going? This is Scramble from Emotionless Crypto Trading and I'm glad to be here again in front of you sharing technical analysis on the Ethereum situation. We got a couple of important things to talk about, especially with the current market scenario, which is pretty, pretty interesting. Before we get into the topic, let's just look at the market cap and everything that's been happening in the space of today. We got a $46.7 billion market cap for Ethereum while Bitcoin is at 218, which is slightly above 5x. Now, looking at the volume, we can see that it is not that of a big difference between BTC's one and Ethereum's one. Certainly, we don't have 5x volume difference. While Fatter is dominating the space on 44 billion, if it's to rank everything by the 24 hours volume, Fatter is dominating the space. And that's pretty interesting because in the past, there's nothing like that. What does it mean? Well, we have a lot of the trading going on actively, which means the switch and the exchange between Fatter and Bitcoin in the past 24 hours. We got some people buying into the dips. We got a lot of the people that were selling just like 12, 14, 16 hours ago, which means that there is a lot of trading activity going on. Fatter, which supports right now Bitcoin, supports the altcoins and supports the major market as a stable coin. So far, they've been able to pretty much copy one dollar us value and they done that successfully we just had an increase here to two cents on top of the dollar which has been bringing two percent more to the people that were holding fetter other than that it has been you know very accurately sitting on one dollar with a little differences back and forth on one percent that are always adjusted so coin market cap is helping us to understand what is the overall market situation on an average volume which is 116 billion today definitely not something insane but there are things that are hiding behind the dominance of the market cap with the btc that have decreased it's 59.2 and we were used to other numbers like Looking at the capitalization of the market, take a look at the Bitcoin. Bitcoin is definitely finding resistance at 65 and right now it is in a period which looks something similar to this. Let me just change my color here, go on black and share with you. This is the perfect example to what's going to appear here. At a time, the entire space was bullish. BTC dominance was below 40, just like you can see this over here again, over there again. So that was the time when our Ethereum was hitting the maximum possible about 30% of the market. And then we had other currencies as well, just like you can see on gray color forming tops. These are the others that are not included right there they were afterwards forming these two high ends which meant a little later than ethereum or bitcoin did they were the ultimate ones during early 2018. late 2017 the domination was hit by the ethereum which means that once the bull run starts ethereum reacts very very well and that's why we're going to have a lot of discussion on the ethereum for the upcoming period probably months because the $500 level is something not even difficult at all. Not even average. I mean, you can't say difficult when you cannot put it into the average. I would say easy target, 500. We're just 414 right now, and we were 445. So that wouldn't be a difficult task at all. What about... 650 700 dollars because that is a place where we have to expect major resistance and movements between 500 as a major bottom up to 650 700 once we break out of that thousand dollars is the next step 
And once you get out of the thousand dollars, things are going to go wild for the Ethereum without any you know, questions on it. Once you're above one thousand dollars per Ethereum, then ten percent is going to mean one hundred bucks is no longer at four hundred, three hundred, three hundred ninety, four fifty, four twenty areas where ten percent means forty bucks. We're talking about hundreds and hundreds of dollars movements instead of tens of dollars movements, and that just raises the bar extremely high. But there is a lot to go until that, guys. And if the current bull run is going to be that powerful like the previous one or even more, I'm definitely having a couple of details in mind, which is basically the result and the conclusion of my research of the past days that this thing is going to start slow just like the previous one did. And let me share with you a couple of nice details. Take a look at that. We had two major tops over there each formed powerful bottoms and during those bottoms a bunch of longs have been cleared out even though at that time and the biggest difference we have from the current bull run compared to the previous one is at that time the average person was not trading on the futures market was not leveraging was not doing margin was not doing any of this today everyone is doing it and that raises the bar to a different level because the exchanges are having a different behavior to a such market that is driven by leverages. In this case scenario, volatility is increasing and the movements by both energies are going to be radical in order to kill your positions, touch your stop losses and get you out of the trades. It's not possible to buy early, hold it without large and very costly consequences. Like buying Ethereum at 400 and doing it on 10x leverage, then holding it until $1,000. Because the funding fees, which are charged every 8 hours, are becoming so expensive at certain points, where you end up paying thousands of dollars per day to hold your positions and then during days and days and over and over again that just cuts down the profits that you are able to make and the entire activity in that strategy and that format becomes non-efficient so the exchanges are making sure that you're leaving your trades that have the best entries as quickly as possible by raising the funding rate and at certain point by auto deleveraging you which is another possibility they have which means that yes that's right you can make money on trading with leverage you can definitely do that but you cannot become a millionaire or a billionaire in the first month because if you make 1 million from 100,000 in the first month, you make 10x on leverage, which is definitely possible. And the strategy is to go around it. You have to keep in mind that you have worked one month for that, but you have to raise the bar and the risk that high that you can lose everything in 48 hours with the same strategy. So that's the way it is. Now, you know, all these things are explained in my private coaching program at scramblecoaching.com. You can find out more details. You can watch this video, which explains how it works. This is a coaching which is running directly one on one with me during four weeks of intensive private, where we learn how to trade from A to Z. You can check out the entire website, register now. I'll get back to you and we can have a free conversation on Skype or Zoom where I'm explaining to you how it works. If you really want to make money and become a professional trader, if you want to raise the bar and get this financial freedom, have an activity which is down to your skills and up to you, have no bus, have security, have predictability, and have a future which allows you to travel, make money, and be stable, then definitely trading is one of a kind. But the thing is, you cannot do this without proper education, because the costs are going to be this tens of thousands of dollars lost two years of learning or you cut this down to four to six weeks and you gotta of course pay 
a specific price for the coaching, which is definitely not compared to tens of thousands of dollars lost in trading. Now, what's happening, just as a quick overview before we get into the market, is people make money during this movement and lose everything during this movement and during this ones. Everything. But they actually lose more than they made during the uptrending movements. That's the pattern I see today from people contacting me for coaching. They made some money since everything has started, but they're still doing pretty bad at the end of the period. And there is a problem with this because you need proper budget management, risk management, and a nice business model that is sitting on a top of foundation, which is a proper mindset and mentality of a trader. This thing is not going to work out without all the things that I've mentioned before. Now for that, we need about, I would say more than 10 hours to sort it out. We need 10 lessons or so. We need to walk you through the foundation area and make sure that the mindset and the mentality, which is around 70 to 80% of your business is set correctly, that you can start building on it, which is then the technicals and all the other things that are very, very important. Please keep in mind that making money during a bull run is possible for a short period of time. But at the same time, when you are exposed to situations that are out of the template, out of the bull run template, which is happening in today's bull run, you're not going to get markets just going up and up for weeks. You're going to get crashes that are killing all your positions, guys, and more than you actually have. So the current market is designed totally different than the 2017's bull run. Totally different. But let me just get into the details, guys, and then talk about this thing a little later on. We're looking at the one hour candlestick right now, and I want to talk specifically for the current situation of the market. Yes. And by the way, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Uh, we got videos here posted about everything. We just start right now do again Ethereum technical analysis. And make sure to check out my other videos where I talk about my earnings and leverage, uh, you know, $23,000 in 30 minutes, $17,000 in Bybit leverage. So you can definitely make this kind of amounts of money if you trade properly, but then you also exit because otherwise the costs are going to become very, very high and the danger zone appears over there. You know, we're also offering all sorts of services like trading and coaching and we're trading for people and so on. Fortunately, we have to deal with a lot of the greedy people and that is a problem. The majority of my customers base is greedy people which are looking to become millionaires in a week without understanding that raising the bar that high means that the risks are also at the same level and inevitable by being greedy means by exposing yourself to 99.9% chances to lose. That's the way it works. So we got to take it pretty slow. We got to be stable and avoid danger zones. That's my priority. A lot of the people are not happy with that. They want to make money today. They want to make 200% this month instead of making 50, 60, 70 or 20 monthly for two years and build from 50 grand to 2 million. They want to be into all the positions. They want to make money out of every single movement. They need to be there to take advantage. Now, that's the greed talking about the market. And that's basically uh, the best recipe to lose your money. Here we are with the current situation of the market. I'm going to start from left to right and introduce you in the context. We got this very powerful top, which was at the $408, $410, which has been our previous difficult movement that needed to be broke out. Secondary, we had another movement which formed a heavy resistance confirmation at the same level. And the context was clearly supported by the major uptrending bull run support line. Whenever we have touched that here, especially on the double bottom, 
we got supported. Here's another one, a little sell off, which killed a lot of the sh longs. And that's what I'm talking about, guys. Going 20x, 30x is very, very difficult today. You can go that kind of leverages with tight stop losses. If you don't go with tight stop losses, the losses you'll take will be very high. Now, by going on tight stop losses, you might get triggered because of the volatility. The thing is, if you go 20x, you can get triggered three, four, five times in a row and have only the sixth trade profitable, which is covering all the losses and is bringing you profits on 20x. If you want to go lower leverage and avoid sort of a way having that tight room, then you can basically go five, six, seven X for a little higher is 10 X. But again, you don't have too much of a room considering the volatility rate of the current market and the wild domination of the board energies because you can very easily get your position killed right there. So that was the previous context. The breakout happened without any hesitation out of the both resistance lines. And we've been able to form our first stop here. And then we've actually created the first patterns of 420 support zone. Once we got there, we broke out again and we have spiked to 445, which is the current top from where we established a downtrending resistance line that has been broke out after touching our 420 support zone from the previous bottom. That was a very, very good position right there. So we broke out. We formed a powerful double top over there, bearish confirmation coming down, retesting our downtrending resistance line. Along the way with our 420 support one, we confirmed and we have spiked for the second try of breakout of 445, which is basically ending up in a failure because the bearish energy have been able to confirm right there. And then we just, you know, simply formed a downtrending channel. The confirmation of the bearish energy appears right here when we form a lower high. And then the second confirmation appears right here when we form another lower high once again. So that was pretty much for those of you looking to trade very tight on those positions, a situation where you got to avoid to be in too long when you're right there. When the market has came lower, especially at the 420 area, we got supported here. Well, we got some nice entries here. Obviously, that's why you see that massive rejection appearing on the charts, because a lot of the people bought into the market at that price. It was major support zone. We got faced a major resistance from this line at 428 at the same time. So it has been applied and has been confirmed. And it did push us, especially today, quite low, where we have touched a $400 support level, nicely forming a rejection, pushing the market back. And now we're trying to survive above 410, which is the best level we can be at the moment. It is also the place where we're going to range between 410 and 420. Now, my question is that are we able to flip our 420 into our support zone again? Because right now it is going to act as a resistance. So what we need to flip this support resist this resistance zone into support zone again is to break out of the downtrending resistance line, the green one just like we did in the past, go a little above, retest on a zone, confirm on the retest, and then continue towards to a triple top testing of the 445. That's what it is. It's going to take time, just like it took time for this specific structure. You know, a couple of days, we're just going back and forth 12 days back and forth 
without too much decision. Here at the top, you got to get a flat one while the uptrending major bull run support line is forming a ascending triangle with that. So that's where we are with the one hour candlestick. Definitely very, very high possibilities to stay above because here there is a mix of major supports appearing from all sorts of directions. And economically speaking, we're about 10% difference from the top, which is already a nice pullback. Uh, looking at the one day candlestick for the Ethereum. Well, the situation here is a little different. And I will start from the huge divergence we have. That's a bearish pattern. Our di divergence appears here. Number one top, number two top forming a higher high pattern, while our RSX indicator is forming a lower high pattern. And that's very interesting because that's a clear divergence, which tells me that the markets from the price and candlestick standpoint were able to gain prices to gain and the power of the bulls decreased. So how is it possible to increase the price while your power decreases? Well, that's a contradiction because when you gain price, you should also gain buying power, which is not reflected in the divergence. In the divergence is actually reflecting a loss of the buying power. And that's how divergence borns by forming a lower high just right here. So what happens is the sell off that is afterwards. And that's the current stage we are exactly there. We are part of the divergence sell off right now. We did formed the first massive rejection forming the first bottom of this divergence sell off could be more tomorrow or the other day or so we could have another bottom just like we had here for this specific current situation of the market. And that's very, very interesting because here we had a double bottom with double leg structure, extremely bullish pattern. This one, that's a double leg structure, which confirmed another movement upwards. But the thing is, the buying power has been decreasing a lot. So the divergence has been formed, which means that that's going to be a difficult time for us to get sustained which is because the markets have been coming down from 445 to 400 actually, which is more than 10%. And that happened in the past three days. So definitely the divergence has been able to step in and pressure the market. It did confirm. Uh, that's where we are right now with the Ethereum. And that's the current situation. Now the average uh, the moving averages on 50 and 100 days are not telling us too many things other than we are going into a FOMO space. The FOMO space is actually represented by the huge difference between the two lines. If it's to measure this difference, we are 16.55% difference between these two lines. Now, a such period in a bull run is translated into FOMO, anything that is above 13%. So right now the markets are traded in an irrational way. During this specific phase, we had all those wild ups and downs. Do you know how many people have been hit by the stop loss and liquidations? Tons of the people. Tons of the people have been hit by the stop loss and liquidations. You enter long, but you do not wait it out till the right time. And you put a stop loss so you get triggered do the market high volatility so you should be entering long whenever things are confirmed for your specific direction on one day candlestick with it had a very nice confirmation here now you see how the 50 days moving average is kind of supporting us multiple times and we're trying to stay above that we're pretty much squeezing squeezing up this triangle 
and trying to sort of a way break out of it. Whenever you had the first movements here, you could have purchased Ethereum on 10x very aggressively long. That would have been a very nice possibility out there because the patterns are totally different than the current situation of high volatility. Take a look at that here. You can very nicely trade on leverage without too much of a problem on 20x. But right now, this is almost impossible to trade 20x leverage at the current volatility level and domination by the both energies. It's not you know, the problem that is a bull run and we're highly volatile. The problem is that the volatility we have is not only completed and done by a single energy, it is also applied by the other ones. And that is pretty difficult to be handled for the majority of the traders that are not having clear limit sets and they do take huge and high losses compared to their portfolio. So that's why I say, guys, be aware on leverage, I can tell you from 10 grand, it's possible to make in two months, 200. This is possible. This is without problems possible. But this 200s with the same strategy can be lost in 48 hour. That's how leverage is. Be aware how you do it and why you do it. First, learn how to do this business. And after you learn how to do this business, do it properly. Because the only alternative remains to try it out without education that is proper, is confirmed by years of trading and lose it all. That's the only alternative, unfortunately. So I'm not going to keep you longer and I'm waiting you on the coaching program or trading services that we're having, as well as subscribing to my YouTube channel and talking about other things if I can help you out. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you have a beautiful day and I see you in my next videos.